Yo, back again. Today I've got, you could call it the second half of my pen sharing um, double header if you wanted to. But you don't have to. In itself, I'm going to be talking about the OMAS Paragon. I've got a very dusty desk area at the moment. Um, the OMAS Paragon Grande Noir. It's black, yeah? Um, which I have hired from the lovely Edwin from pen through pen sharing dot com I should say um you've heard me talk about pen sharing before I'm sure so I'm not going to prattle on but uh, I have hired this for the week um and I don't think prior to this I've had the pleasure of an omas um I can't vouch for whether or not I have actually picked one up at pen meetings or pen shows briefly to write with but I don't think I have thinking about it so wanted to try it out um you will see in the background here I also hired the Leonardo Vesuvio at the same time check out that video which is probably uploaded by this point who knows I'm a bit unpredictable um yeah so Omas Brand probably needs no introduction. Sorry, there's a little bit of uh, condensation there. It's a bit cold around here. Um, so we have ruthenium trim and plated nib of the 18 karat gold variety. Hang on. Yes. Uh, medium in this case. Uh, you've got ruthenium plated or coloured at the very least, I assume it is plated. Section, uh, very smooth thread profile there. As you can see, that is pretty much flush with your section. You're not feeling that at all, that's fine. Little step down, uh, you can feel that ever so slightly, but um, I don't think you'd be holding that far back. If you were, it's not sharp. You'd feel it, but it's not sharp. You don't. You hardly feel those threads, um, but it's a very nice size in the hand. Does it post? I'm going to do it gently because it's not mine. Uh, yes, it would do. So that was post, but it's going to make it pretty long. Um, back weight a little bit. Not really, a little bit, but it's not bad for the balance. But that's a pretty hefty pen anyway in um, for length and a decent girth too. So you probably wouldn't have to do such a thing. Piston filler, piston filling knob up here again with the ring. Uh, ruthenium coloured or plated. Um, conical finial on the back as there is at the top here you've got the wheel clip there which will make it quite functional just lifts off a, a tiny bit there quite stiff but uh, functional kind of arching over here some people may not find that attractive but I find I do uh, on the cap band you have Omas and then an uh, Greek key pattern then the paragon italy on that side and the key pattern continuing you've got that um kind of guilloche um uh pattern <laughs> uh in the in the barrel and the cap and faceted pen the paragon and i haven't actually counted how many facets i'm sure i should know this anyway hang on it's 12. It's 12, isn't it? Yeah, it's 12. I should have known that. But anyway, yes, so very, very nice pen. Shall we change the angle up and look at size comparison, do a bit of writing? Okay, then. So here we are with a range of stuff and uh, to compare some sizes. Sorry, forgot how to speak there for a second. So we have the Omas Grand Paragon, or Paragon Grand, a Leonardo Memento Zero Grand, Leonardo Vesuvio, just as an excuse to pop it in another video, because look at it, look at it, it's nice, isn't it? Pelican M1000, uh, you've got Hongdian N12, uh, which is round about the size of a Pelican M800, a Hanoto magna classic and opus 88 coloro over here we have a visconti homo sapiens bronze age jinhao x159 just looking at that mob 149 size 
a Pilot Custom 743, which is ish to the size of perhaps a Mont Blanc 146 in that ballpark, you know what I'm saying? And a Twisby 580 Diamond ALR. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so you can see it is a lengthier and girthier uh, pen, so a bit girthier than the uh, Homo sapiens and yeah, a bit girthier than um, the Jinhao and I think the only things beating it for length there is uh, the Leonardo's. Okay then, shall we see how it writes? Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM paper. And I apologise for my obligatory messing around with focuses and what not. There you go. Right, so we have an Omas. Paragon. Grande. With an 18 carat gold medium nip. Ink in here today is diamine. Sargasso C. Talk amongst yourselves. This is a unbelievably nice writer. Look, obviously it's not mine, so I can't vouch for like how it came new, or if it's a tuning or anything like that. But I don't know. I, I I I don't think so, but you know I can't vouch for that for sure. However, at the moment, it's lovely. Let's go a bit quicker. Keeps up very, very well. Uh, no evidence of any skippage. Um, for wetness, not at all bad. Um, it's not a hose pipe, but it is very, um, it's got a really, really good flow on it. And this is with like no pressure at all. Um, so you've got little. Tiny bit of skip there, but as I say, I'm applying nothing resembling pressure to this other than popping it on the page. So, yeah, all right, you might need a little bit more pressure than that, but you know. Um, four line variation, it's not my pen, so I'm not going to go mad. So, that is no pressure, and then you can actually, without too much pressure at all, get quite a bit out of that. So that is nice little bit of soft. It doesn't, do you know what? I'm not sure I've tried that before, uh, even though I've had this for a week-ish. Um, it doesn't, uh, when you put like your kind of standard writing pressure on it, it doesn't feel like it's going to be that soft, but without having to push too hard, that does give way quite nicely. As I say, it's not mine, so I'm not going to go mental. But um, yeah, very, very nice nib. Um yeah so what do i think of this well it's blooming marvelous mate it's blooming marvelous isn't it but it's a lovely lovely pen sorry focusing around again um 
I've mentioned before, I'm a sucker for ruthenium uh, trim slash nib plating, etc. Um, I like the flat profile emodite feed there. This is a supremely comfortable pen. Um, but people who don't love like your metal, shiny metal sections for slipperiness, this might cause you, well, I don't know. Look, I don't generally have that issue myself, but just as a watch out, yeah, if it doesn't agree with you, then that's something to be aware of there. Um, patternings and workmanship and it's, and everything is spot on. Um, you got all your facets lining up there between the piston knob and the um, barrel. Threads, smooth as you like. You would barely know they were there. I mentioned that step down, but that that's not too intrusive. Uh, you would feel it if you wanted to grip right there, but not much, and it's not sharp. I could hold that there pretty comfortably. Um, nice flare out there. Beautiful writer, very well weighted pen as well, very nicely balanced. Um, hang on a second, because I haven't done any weights or measurements, have I? I'll tell you what I could do, I could put them in the description. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, Lovely pen, very nice workmanship, understated for sure, not, you know, like the Vesuvio's, the stunning finish or whatever, but um, if you appreciate excellent workmanship and a very comfortable pen, then, you know, this kind of thing is for you. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Love yourselves, love others. I'll see you next time. Bye.